For the past two weeks, Kitco News has brought you pre-conference coverage for the New Orleans Investment Conference. Now we are at the show and in New Orleans, ready to bring you more exclusive interviews. Our first is with Brian London, the organizer of the show. We asked him more about his thoughts on gold and about that market manipulation story that just doesn't seem to be going away. Well, I, I think that's a, a, a potentially explosive issue for the markets. Uh, we've tracked this since the uh, late 1990s for gold in particular, but the, the amount of, of central bank selling in gold or leasing in gold and what that's done to central bank gold reserves, uh, there's been a lot of great work since then through Gata and Ted Butler as far as the silver issue. Uh, that's potentially explosive for silver. It's not, and it's important to note this, that this issue, no matter what happens to it, is not a potential negative for the metals. So if it's not been factored in at all, if it's no factor at all, we're still where we are. But if it does turn out to be something that's really uh, uh, gets exposed, that there is an expose here, and it's positive for the, it will be very positive for the metals. Well, I, and, and it seems like most of the other speakers, have really been expecting a correction or a cons price consolidation. And we've seen somewhat of, of that in the precious metals prices over the last couple of weeks, but nothing like uh, we, w we thought we would have seen. Uh, gold and silver have been just remarkably resilient. We've gotten very strong physical buying from India on every price pullback. It seems like every time the uh, gold, and for instance, has come back, it's bounced right back. Uh, so it's been surprising that level of strength and we've all been kind of cynical, we've all been kind of waiting for a, a pullback. It's due from a, uh, from a standpoint of the duration of this rally, uh, the degree of this rally, the technical indicators, but it just keeps going. We've looked at the midterm elections in the U.S. as potentially a sparking, a spark for a correction. Uh, we've looked at the Fed's announcement of QE2 as perhaps another spark for a correction. Uh, but it seems like the market right now is discounting that or factoring that into the, sh into the price. It may not happen. Um, so kind of the consensus is we're at a crucial point. We may see a pullback uh, toward the end of this year. That's kind of what's expected. But even if we don't, uh, that, you know, that would be a good buying opportunity. But regardless of that, looking further, uh, the long-term view, it seems like everyone's very bullish and very positive about that. Exactly. The, the Fed decision is probably the, uh, the predominant issue facing the markets right now. Uh, the market expectations have, uh, are just massive for QE2. We think that it looks like those expectations have been uh, ramped down a bit, in, literally in recent days. And, and perhaps the market is starting to factor in that it's not going to be just a flood of money into the market. But still, it seems doubtful that the Federal Reserve can meet market expectations. There's probably going to be a bit of, uh, of uh, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news kind of phenomenon when that announcement comes out. Uh, it, it's probably going to be a bit negative for gold, but, you know, it surprised us. It really has surprised us to this point. For Kiko News, this is Daniela Cambone. Stay tuned to Kiko.com for more coverage from the New Orleans Investment Conference.